All right, in this episode, we went and bought our paint from Mike and Jerry's Paint Supply here in New Orleans. I'm with my buddy Jack Hickman, and we got our pony over red mixed up. He took us in the back, back of shop, back of house. We got to see the paint mixed up. Saw how it, how the sausage is made. If you're interested in seeing how we get this done this week, stay tuned. going to do it. We're going into Mike and Jerry's paint supply. We're going to buy the paint for Christine. We're going to get our red and our ivory. We're going to go in and see my buddy Jack. Let's get it done. I'm at Mike and Jerry's and this is my buddy Jack Hickman. And then actually holding the camera today, I have a cameraman. I've got my son Jen. He's actually monitoring the, monitoring the camera. And I want to show you uh, what goes on behind the scenes and how, how they mix paint in the paint shop. Uh, I thought I'd just go, instead of me trying to tell you what I think about paint, I'm going to let Jack tell you what, what he's been telling me. So anyway, we're getting ready to paint Christine, and uh, Mike and Jerry's here is a rep for a DuPont brand product, so he, uh, he's been recommending this Exalta product, and you saw that last video I did had some Emron in it, so I used Emron for a part. Well, now I'm uh, going to use this Exalta, but anyway, so Jack, you know, I'm painting this, Christine's going to be this red and this ivory, so we're going with this. In fact, this is a color that you give you credit for. You recommended this Pull Me Over Red from GM. And then I fought this ivory, you know, and then finally ended up with some kind of facsimile of a 57, um, the 57 India ivory. So anyway, so can you tell me a little bit about what kind of paint you're recommending for us here? Okay, this is um, this is Rival single stage. Rival is part of the Emron family. Uh, Emron is polyurethane base coat and base coat, top coat, clear coat. Polyurethane is substantially more dense and harder than urethane products that they use in automotive typically. We used to use urethane enamel or in, uh, acrylic enamel. Yeah. And, and so this is harder than that? No. Yes, much harder. Acrylic okay. enamel uh, has been kind of pushed to the wayside a long Bye -bye. time ago. <laughs> yeah, for, um, for the urethane product. And I don't know when, I don't know when. Emron came out as a urethane, but Emron has been the the premium fleet aircraft marine industrial product for years. Anyone who knows anything about paint, they may not know about the kind of paint you're talking about, but if you say the word Emron, they know what you're talking that about. That happened they, with that last video. <laughs> right. They, they automatically equate it to, you know, super premium quality. So. Yep. Emron right now, if you were to go buy a fleet vehicle, a Kenworth, a Mac, uh, a Peterbilt, a Western Star, Volvo, any truck, any fleet truck made in the continental United States has Emron on it right from no the factory. Kidding. Okay. They do it the same way we're about to do it. They mix paint, they paint trucks, bang, bang, boom, that's it. In fact, if you look inside the door, of an 18-wheeler cab uh, or sometimes depending on where the color code is when you see the color code it's not like automotive the color code is actually an Emron formula number and the actual there's a whole bunch of different grades of Emron so the last two digits of what you see on the truck wow. is the actual okay. Emron variant so but it's pricey good stuff usually is <laughs> So we're going with the Exalta, and this is, this well, is what you're so, recommending so, to me. So Rival so, is basically the older Emron product. Uh, they upgraded Emron quite a few years ago, but they just they upgraded it so they could get better colors, things like that, so it would be more flexible. So they took that product, and now they call it Rival. Right. It's still basically right. Emron. Yep. Everything in the Rival line is basically from the Emron line. So it's... it's it's considerably less expensive, uh, but it, at the end of the day, it's going to be the same thing. But so, it's a polyurethane. It is a polyurethane. And you're and we're going with a single stage because we got a solid color, and we're not matching or trying to blend anything. We're painting the entire car. Uh, I, a lot of my even automotive colors, I recommend that they spray things that they want to be durable uh, with single stage. Okay, so we're going to go in the back, and he's going to show us the back of house and and what what 
he recommends here that we're going to do with Christine. So we're going to mix up some paint. Looking forward to it. Here we go. So we're in back of house now, and Jack's already hooked me up with a shirt. <laughs> it's one of the first things he pulled out of stock. So now we're in the back of house, and this is everything that they're stocking over here at the supply house. And you can see Jack's going to walk us through with all the di various different things, and these are all things that it would take you years to figure out all the stuff that they possibly have. So when you think you're looking on the Internet, it's one of the things I'm always big on. That's what I was just telling Jack is I'm not a big fan of, of ordering things like paint from the Internet, you know. So find a local source, find, find a local guy, and, and get with somebody that, that can hook you up, that, can, that knows what they're, what, uh, what they're selling. So anyway, what do we got here? So Mike and Jerry's is a 50 plus year old independent family owned organization. Uh, they've grown from one store, this was the original store, now it's the hub of eight stores. Uh, we, we have about, I think, 12, 14 lines of paint we service out of this, out of this location. 14 different lines. Four different, 14 different paint lines. That includes several different automotive lines, several different Emron lines, uh, some budget lines. Uh, we try to have something for everybody, whatever the job needs is what we gotcha. want to have. So these one, two, three aisles are nothing but premium product. Emron Industrial has its own warehouse in the back. Come that's on. Like, that's all large. By itself? Yeah, that's okay. all very large scale. We mix that in five gallon buckets. Of paint. I don't know about that. Yeah, no, we mix. <laughs> we send people pallets of paint, same color, different colors, whatever. All right. Uh, Nason is one of Exalta's oldest products. We sell Nason. Um, we're talking about Metalux. We sell Metalux. That's also one of the Exalta products. So we sell almost everything in their line. Okay, uh, but then you get the other majority stuff. of everything in there. But you got other stuff back. You got polishes and compounds and, and polish, and... Uh, polish, compound, detail supplies. Uh, you might have seen in the video on the front. We have anything in the world to do with detailing. We supply some of the biggest detail shops in the city and state. Uh, Bondo, tape, primer. You actually have Bondo brand Bondo. No, 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 no. Bondo is a, <laughs> Bondo is a store brand name. Yeah. Bondo is part yeah, of 3M, yeah, yeah. I believe, at this point. Okay. But we have, like, this whole... 3M. All the way down this is just nothing but 3M products. But I've been getting, like, Roberlo. I've been getting a ton of Roberlo. Right. Like Impact. Roberlo's down there. Impact okay. is our in-house label. Okay. Uh, Impact sandpaper. We have right. Impact. So aerosols, clear coat, uh, primer, sealer. All things wax and grease remover. Impact is our private label, and most of the regular shop use sundry stuff we do in Impact. It's like all the sandpaper too. You got all this, all this stuff. Yeah, like we carry and rolls and any kind of pretty much sandpaper to be used in automotive, industrial, marine. We 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 stock it. amount of paper and tape because in the automotive industry they throw away. So if you love trees, don't don't go so around tape, parking. So tape, like all right, running to the Home Depot, or whatever, and going by and the blue the blue tape, that's better. This is specifically made for automotive. Yeah. Uh, the blue tape is usually for latex paint. So see, see, it, <laughs> right. it might work okay, but so that's made for the solvents. That's made that it's for gonna the solvents. See, right? So that's right. that's a tip right there. Or waterborne. So uh, all right, so now I'm gonna talk quantity and Christine, you know, it's two tone car. And it's painted inside and out, right? It's got the top of the hood, the bottom of the hood, firewall, the dashboard. The jams are all red. All that's red. 95% um, of the fenders are red. There's a balance in the front that's red. The doors are 95% red. And the rear quarters, maybe half red. And then outside of that, now you got the ivory, which is going to be the roof, top and bottom of the trunk lid. Um, and then the majority, at least half of the, of the rear quarters. So that's all going to be an ivory. So we're, we're gonna shoot with this polyurethane. And I did shoot this sample, and it did it did cover really well. And I remember when I was shooting the sample, I said, it's supposed to come in two coats, and it did. I don't know if two coats is like right. Two no? coats is right. Two coats is right, two okay, so, right. so we're gonna aim for two coats of this, and I'm used to shooting like three. But two coats is good. Base coat, uh, you, most of your experience in the past has been with base coat, and base coat is not, des not designed to cover one or two coats. The base coat has no uh, UV um, okay. protection. Okay? okay, that's all coming clear. It's just color. Right. And, and base coat is made 
mostly for metallic colors. And if you covered metallic in one white coat, right. you wouldn't see any of the No, metallic. it wouldn't look good. So most base coats are two to three coats so that you can have the effect coming off of it. And the yeah. clear coat enhances that effect. Okay. So you're doing solid colors. So um, all the Emron products are designed to be two coat coats. Two coats. Uh, <laughs> well, that's going to save you on labor. People who <laughs> have never sprayed it before, the first time I put it in their hands, I tell them all the same thing. When you put the first coat on, you're going to feel like you have coverage. And because you're a base coat painter, you're going to want to stop. You don't stop there. The second coat is what gives you the UV protection. So even okay. though you have coverage okay. on the first one, yeah. the second one will give you the UV. All right. So, so it's going to lay on. It's going to lay on with 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 good coverage without much transparency. You have to remember these, these products are designed for eighteen wheelers. Yeah. For tractors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call them. Okay. So that guy painting that tractor with a hood bigger than most cars. Yeah. He ain't going. Oh, you're around, right. And doing it third time. <laughs> he's not going around the truck twice. Right. He's going to put two almost back to back coats. Yeah. On the same area. So there, that's a good question. So, so how long do I have to let it flash in between? Coats? One minute. Are you kidding me? So, so, so I'm what it's shoot designed this. to do is you're going to pick a section and you're going to spray for about a minute, minute and a half, and you're going to go right back and you're going to put the second coat wet on wet right on top of it. That's how it's designed to work. Come on. <laughs> and you're just going to. All the, the more that you have taped off, the further you can go. Yeah. So, all right. When you mix paint the first time, yeah. mix a little less than you think you're going to need, and just go as far as you can, and just you know, constantly you, go from wet and just wet out. Right. All right. So, all right. like so most people will spray the hood. Yeah. All in one time. Two coats. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. If you're doing, if you if you have the hood on a stand and you do the underside, yeah, I'd have the hood upside down, yeah, and the firewall all prepped ready to go, yeah. Anything you were doing just under hood, boom, boom, boom. and just keep going, do it all okay. at the same time. Okay. Okay. You're gonna have to let that sit overnight before you can flip it over. Right. Right. Before right. you can flip right. it over. But it's so gonna have it's full coverage. That, right. It's full coverage. Right. It's, it's it's done. Okay. So everything you can do in that first point, you you want to have more prepped, just in case you got yeah. a little extra paint. Maybe yeah. you can hit the top of that fender. Okay. All right. It's <laughs> okay. All right. It's so, yeah. designed for big stuff. It's designed yeah. to be really fast. So, so even when you have firewall honestly right. uh maybe two coats but like under the hood if oh, it's yeah. covered on the first right. coat let it you're go. done let it go it's never going to see the light of day right right i'm just worried about having millage to be able anything to anything that touches the sun well i'm just worried about having millage to to also in case i have anything that any flaws that i can i can wet sand you can put out. two coats on two yeah. coats will, two coats will give me still room to wet two coats in your phone two coats in your all right well all right follow me we're mixing uh, we're going to make a paint formulation for General Motors 130X, which is pull me over red. I didn't name it. <laughs> so, you come yeah. in. Um, those are most of the lines of paint we mix. It's all on one piece of Exalta software. Uh, transportation is a fleet product. Color, formula. This is all pretty easy because uh, you, you're not supposed to be a genius to mix paint. It's supposed to be easy. That works for me. I don't need a genius. Yeah, no. It's <laughs> it's supposed to all. I mean, painting really is supposed to be the easy part. Get so there's the a manufacturer's code. Okay. Yeah. One thirty X is the is the okay is the code, and we're making this in rival single stage top coat. All right, and then we were saying with the red, for all the volume, we were thinking maybe three quarts three of the quarts. red? Three, three quarts. Three quarts of the red. So not a gallon, right? No, No. And so, and so you, you can mix any quantity and any number of ounces we need? Yes, to, all right. literally to the ounce. To the ounce, okay. This is that color. Um, we'll go down to mix size. Tell we want three quarts. Nice. We hit okay. And it's that's the formula. So it's, it's in grams to the tenth of the gram. So you measure are, it by weight. We measure got, by the gram. And you okay in grams, and you got.
three different binders, and then black, white, violet, opaque red, rival additive, and rival reducer. So the colors are actually black, white, violet, and opaque red. Here's what most people okay. don't. Here's what don't, most people don't know. Here's the actual amount by the gram of the color it goes in. It's in fractions of a gram. Right. So, so we measure to the tenth of the gram. Tenth so, of a gram. That's oh, why it matches. <laughs> so most of the color is opaque red, and that's 869 grams. That's that's most of it. But out of oh, yeah. out of three quarts of material, there's the same amount of red as there is the majority binder. So there's twice as much binder as there is of the color of the pre, of the, the majority the, of the, yeah, color the, the major there. color. Right. Plus reducer and whatever the added. So. But just black, white, violet, and the opaque red. Right. Interesting. That's, okay. That's, that's what makes that. that okay. In this line, every line is different. But in this line, that's right. So the second about. color is this, what we think is 1957 India ivory. Okay. So just when I called you and said, "Do you have a, a formula for this?" and you're like, "Well, sort of." The original base coat in the automotive industry was Dupont Chrome Base. A lot of those older colors were painted originally in Dupont. Uh huh. In Chrome Base. Yeah. Back then, but all of those old cars were converted into. The chroma base system. They okay. Call it chrome, now it's just called Chromax. That's the. Gotcha. That's Chromax. I did see that. I, th I think I saw Chromax on the hardener for the M on. Probably. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, the color lab, the Exalted Color Lab, has the ability, has the ability to take a formula from one line, and it works kind of like the color spectrometer does. Mm -hmm. It will convert, it'll make a formula for that same color into the other line, whatever the line is. So yeah. I called the color lab and I said, hey, I need this white, which was the actual 56 Chevy ivory white. Yeah. I need this white converted into rival. They said, no problem. They pushed a few buttons. Gotcha. I'm making it sound easier gotcha. than it was. But no, it, no, no. It, it was, it, it it was about like that. Yeah. It, it, no, it took three minutes. Okay. And but they, I mean, they pushed a couple buttons and did a, an electronic conversion. She okay. says, okay, uh, I got a 0.7 match for you. In automotive uh, or in fleet, uh, a 0.7 is a pretty yeah. pretty good match for yeah, an overall. Yeah. Well, Bill got the color. When we mixed it. Bill got the color. He looked at it. He saw a green tint. It was mint green. It was definitely mint green. Not <laughs> unusual. Okay? Because it's... The, computer doing this and computers aren't yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. We mixed a little, he looked at it, he said it's too green. Um, Jeff, our, our counter manager, said no problem. He went back and he mixed the same color. He just left out left all Left out the all green. the green and that's what got us this this India ivory color that you see here that we put it up against our uh, Ciadella interior, interior and the 57 ivory and it, and it was uh, a pretty good coordinating color. It was, a, it was a good enough match for what we're doing. So, I have that formula number in here that the Exalta Color Lab gave me. I'm hitting search just so I can get a formula. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's the paint that we made for them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And there you go. And we're going to go two quarts of that, huh? And we're going to go two quarts of this because we can always mix more of this. And because you're mixing it by the tenth of a gram, that's what goes uh, repeatability. So if I come back and get a little bit more, it's going to be dead on. So yeah, it, right, that only it has the binders, black, yellow oxide, and white. Yeah, yellow oxide is in pretty much any white you see. Uh, GM white, Toyota white, uh, for, they all yep. have a little bit of yellow. Yellow oxide, some of okay. them have red oxide, but it's a real strong... And the, and, and the black, probably the, the quantity of black is what's giving us that oyster look that we're looking for. Okay, to make a half gallon of paint, it's 1.6 grams of black. That's, you know... That's a tiny bit. That's Look at that. 752 in the white, 1.6 on the black. Okay. Right. So and 6.4 6 in the yellow. Basically, over half the mix is different binders and... Uh, wow. Different binders and reducers. All right. So, all right. We so ready to mix some paint? Double check my size. Two quarts, half gallon. Okay. Print. This is what I've been looking forward to, getting in that paint room. Uh, yeah, that's my least favorite part. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. You ready? You ready? Here we go. This is where it gets fun.
So this is our Ooh, this is yeah. our mixing room. Um, we mix a lot of different lines. Not everything we mix is in here. Uh, Chromax XG, Metal Up, Stand Up. Emron, Evening, uh, Tonehurst, Mason. This is what they call the feed toner set. This is what goes in Emron Industrial and, and um, Rival also. And the original base coat, uh, Chroma Base. We still mix Chroma Base. So, uh, I'll, plus a whole bunch of stuff we have in the back. So. Yeah. We have, uh, when I first started working here, I was amazed. We have six scales, three on each side. It's the most scales I've ever seen in one room. We use all six of them at the same time, very frequently. What? If an industrial <laughs> customer calls for 30 gallons of paint, um, they take turns. Two or three people will be in here mixing at the same time to pick up one color, hit all six. The next guy will be right Come on. Come on. Yeah. Six so, at one time. We can, we, we're going to do one. <laughs> Six gallons at a time. Yeah. So we do a lot of spray outs. We have an air filtration system in here. And we do a lot of color spray outs. Uh, no paint line is perfect. Uh, sometimes we have to invent a color or find a color that might work better. For an automotive, it's about the match. So if one of our customers has a color issue, yeah. sometimes it's what we have to do to take care wow, of it. Wow, no kidding. We spray it out. Now. I had no idea you did that. I mean, that's. We spray it out and match the parts. This is a uh, this is a, a sample paint dryer. It's basically a, a kind of like a mini mic, a mini easy bake oven. Easy bake oven. So we use metal. Stay here. I'm gonna grab one for you. We use metal spray out cars. We buy metal? them. They're metal spray out cars. We buy them already primed. So when we're doing a spray out, we're not doing it on a piece of paper, we're doing it on a piece of metal with actual primer on it. And, oh man. And we cure it. We, that takes it through the whole cure process. So I had no idea. So when that's, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, we'll mix paint. Alright, here's our wall of Exalta. Emron toners. Look at that, it did say Emron on it, didn't it? Yeah. It said Emron. <laughs> All right. Look at the red. That's the red toner. It's pretty That's it. darn red. That is it. Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of different stuff that goes into making paint. Um, they don't tell me what it is. They just tell me to put it in a can. <laughs> so some of it might look funny to you. Don't ask me. It just is what it is. Here we go. So you're looking at, look at the, let's see, where are we going? 15.5.7. Jeez, and look how accurate that is. That's crazy. Holy cow. Point seven. Point 15.45.7. And there you go. The accuracy is like the, right there. The accuracy of the first component. One more drop. Look at that. Look the, at that. The accuracy of the first product is not really that important other than if you're off. That is it, nice. It throws the rest of the off. I can't believe that. That's like to the nearest tenth of a gram. A little bit of black. We go just tiny little bits. This is three quarts of red and just little little bitty tiny little drips. Yep. Alright. 
right, so here we go with the red. Lots and lots and lots and lots of red. By comparison. Lots of red. Oh, that is neat. <laughs> Ugly, huh? Yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> so now that's, what? that's just mixing it, and now it kind of looks like the right, almost the right color, just for yeah. pouring all the reducer and the reduce, reducer stirs everything up in there. But it's still going to look a little different once we, uh, yep, once we shake. So now we got it mixed up, got a label on it, going on a shaker, and that's one. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. <laughs> All the Emron products are designed to dry very slowly, to cure very slowly, so that it'll all lay down and be flat. Um, you have to understand that this is what they use at truck factories to paint these big trucks. Most of these truck factories have um, heated paint booths, so when they walk out of the booth after finishing the job, they basically push a button, the, the heat comes on, bakes it for 45, 50 minutes. When it cools off, it's ready to go back over the line and get work. Bill doesn't have that option, so we put accelerator in his paint. It's good for two or three weeks um, before it actually literally wears out the okay. accelerator. Okay. All that'll happen is it'll All take right. longer to... So you heard that, longer. I gotta paint it now. <laughs> yeah, two weeks. All right. Um, so this is a graduated paint mixing cup. And you can see they have all these ratios on the side. This particular product mixes six to one. So what you do is the six, which is the paint, you go up how many lines, how much paint you want. Let's say if we go to eight, and then once he's got the paint in there up to that line, he'll pour the, the uh, hardener activator up to the eight line, and that's it, stir it up and paint. And you said it's already got reducer mixed in it. It's got reducer mixed, so everything. I don't need to cut it. Every, you, don't, you don't do anything to it, but so activate no it. no fast reducer, slow reducer, no, none of that. It's not like automotive based. Okay, okay. I sped okay. it up for you, because yeah. it's pretty cold. It's pretty cold around here by New Orleans standard. Yeah, yeah. You can paint pretty much all the production painters who use this in the fleet shops. You can do a whole hood inside and out, activated and accelerated. It's not gonna dry up and pan. The, the accelerator actually extends the pot life, which, oh, is, okay. great, which is the craziest thing yeah, ever. Yeah, right, so it'll slow it down on the front end, but the back end, it comes in. Comes in right, okay. once, it, cool. once it kicks, it makes it kick fast. Okay. So, so we literally went grocery shopping. <laughs> I've got the two gallons, or not the, not the two gallons, but two gallon cans, so I got two quarts of ivory, three quarts of the red, I got some masking tape in two different sizes. I've got some hardener, some activator. I've got a spray solvent gun cleaner, new respirator. Uh, I got some degreaser, and paper, paper cups, mixing cups, mixing stir sticks, and some wipes that are lint free. So we are ready. So how'd you like that? Pretty cool, huh? I was so excited when I left. I paid my bill and I forgot to shoot my outro. So we're back at the garage here. And I just wanted to say thank you to, to tuning in, to watching this episode. If you'd enjoyed it, I, I would appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the channel, I'd love a subscription. So coming up on future episodes very, very soon, of course, I've got the paint. Clock's ticking. We're going to shoot some paint and some color in Christine and get it looking red and white beautiful again. If you're interested in seeing that, please. Come back to our next episode. Until I see you next time, please take care of yourself. Cheers.